Have you ever wondered about the origins of early Americans? Who were the first people to set foot in the Americas and where did they come from? Imagine the surprise when, in 1975, an 11,500-year-old skeleton was unearthed in Lapa Vermelha, Brazil. Named Luzia, her distinct features and oval cranium projecting face and pronounced chin presented a conundrum. They bore little resemblance to the typical Native American features but echoed those of Australian Aboriginals and Southeast Asian populations. The archaeologist who discovered her, Annette Lemming Emperor and later researchers like Walter Neves of the University of Sao Paulo, found themselves questioning established narratives. Luzia's features didn't just challenge our understanding of the physical characteristics of early Americans, but also hinted at a different pathway of human migration. Luzia's discovery challenges us to rethink our understanding of early American demographics. But what does this mean for our understanding of human migration and settlement? But before we get into the rest of this video, we want to take a quick second to tell you about our special limited time offer. We are giving away free copies of our newest critically acclaimed book, 13 Black Scholars Who Admitted There Were Black People in the Americas Before Columbus. This exclusive offer is our way of saying thank you for your incredible support and sticking with us on our knowledge-filled journey into true ancient American history. Dive deep into history with us and uncover truths that challenge what we've been taught. But hurry, this offer won't last forever. Click the link in the description and grab your free copy. Now let's get back to the video. Luzia's story begins in Lapa Vermelha, Brazil, where her 11500-year-old skeleton was discovered by archaeologist Annette Leming Emperor. This extraordinary find, dating back to an era long lost in time, opened a new chapter in our understanding of the ancient human demographics of the Americas. Luzia was unique. She was not your typical Paleo-American. Her distinct facial features and oval cranium projecting face and pronounced chin set her apart. She bore little resemblance to the conventional Native American features and instead, oddly enough, her attributes aligned more closely with Negroid characteristics. This peculiarity intrigued anthropologists, including Walter Neves of the University of Sao Paulo. Neves noted that Luzia's features resembled those of Australian Aboriginal peoples and other ancient populations from Southeast Asia and the Pacific Islands. Her uniqueness posed a question, where did Luzia come from? This question led to a re-evaluation of the conventional theories about the origins and genetic makeup of early Americans. Richard Neve of Manchester University, who undertook a forensic facial reconstruction of Luzia, labeled her features as Negroid. This revelation challenged the traditional narrative of human migration and settlement in the Americas. Neves, along with other Brazilian anthropologists, proposed an intriguing theory. They suggested that Luzia's Paleo-Indian ancestors might have lived in Southeast Asia for tens of thousands of years after migrating from Africa before making their way to the Americas. This theory introduces the idea of a far earlier migration to the New World, possibly starting as early as 15,000 years ago. The first inhabitants of the Western Hemisphere, according to this theory, were Paleo-Americans who bore resemblances to groups like Australian Aboriginals and Malaysian Negritos. This hypothesis drastically alters the narrative of early American settlement, suggesting a far more diverse and complex demographic than previously thought. Luzia's story presents a compelling argument for a more diverse and complex early American demographic than previously thought. Her unique features and the theories they inspired remind us that history is a rich tapestry of cultures and genetic backgrounds, and that the Americas were a melting pot of diversity long before the arrival of Europeans. Artifacts like those found in the Temple of Murals at Bonampak, an ancient Mayan archaeological site in Mexico, further support the theory that Luzia was of black origins. They reveal a rich tapestry of cultures and genetic backgrounds, challenging the simplistic historical narrative that the Americas were uniformly peopled before the arrival of Europeans in 1492. In the grand tapestry of human history, Luzia serves as a reminder of the rich and diverse genetic backgrounds that contributed to the development of early American civilizations. Trust us when we say, this journey through America's hidden black past is just beginning. If this glimpse into a world lost to time has captured your imagination, smash that like button and don't forget to subscribe for more adventures into the unknown. Lastly, for more information about the names and subjects mentioned in this video, get your copy of the Amazon best-selling book series. 19 white men who admitted there were indigenous black people in the Americas, 
and 13 black scholars who admitted there were black people in the Americas before Columbus by Chase McGee. Link in the description. Stay curious and keep exploring.